Okay, today we had a P1S. This is a brand new P Bamboo Lab P1S. And uh, the issue I had was after printing uh, probably about 400, well, it's probably more than that. Probably two, two, two kilograms of filament. Um, I had, well, obviously we're missing some parts here, but the filament uh, was stuck and was unable to extrude. I should have recorded before I, you know, tear, throw this apart. But basically, you could pull the filament, and uh, it wasn't able to come out of the extruder, so it was stuck. It had stopped extruding on the print about halfway through, uh, so I could tell that I thought it was a clog at first. It was not a clog. It was a problem in the extruder. So, um, this is what it looks like behind your uh, extruder gear assembly, by the way, in your hot end. When you take it all off, hot end on the plate. That's not. That's normally connected. That's your uh, hot end right there. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, so here is your extruder gear assembly taken apart. Your big yellow gear, the back plate that holds it on, your tension spring, and your your uh, screws. So. I believe the issue is right here. All right, I might have to turn off the light. Let's see. A little hard to get it, but can you see that little buildup right here? I'm printing with a PETG carbon fiber, by the way. So I haven't had issues with this carbon fiber before, so we're going to keep going with it and see if I run into any more problems. I've never run into this one before. Uh, basically what had happened is, this is the end of the filament that I actually broke off that was at the top. It would have been at the top of this extruder through here. So I could pull this and it would go up a little bit and down a little bit, but that's it. And I could not pull it in or out. Uh, I, I was using the load function and the unload function to try and do it, to get it to come out. I had cut it. I used the nozzle uh, cutter. Uh, nothing, it, w it was bunched up in there is basically what I, I could figure. And uh, so I eventually pulled too hard and broke it at this point. You can tell it was grinding on this, trying to push it through. And so it just got bunched up in there. And I believe this is the... Let's see if I can... It's a little tricky to do. I'm going to need to get a hands-free thing here. It's hard to do this with one hand. It's actually a lot smaller than it looks. Alright, hold on. Yeah, so actually I'm done. This, this is basically the ground-up part of the filament. I don't know what happened here. If there was a... You know, a, a lump in the filament... But if you look, this is actually the root right here. This is where your filament goes through. So right here is where it caught up on the gears and just started getting smushed and pushed. This is where it cut at the filament cutter. Filament cutter goes through that channel right there and cut it flush. So uh, I'm going to see if I can push up from the bottom here. So, like I said, I need to get a hands-free thing. This would be so much better to do this way. Alright, hold on. Alright, if you can tell, I pushed up on the filament from the bottom here. Oh my goodness. And was able to get it to this point. So that just was not, it was not going up or down. So there was really no option. I was going to be pulling apart this extruder gear assembly. All right, one sec. Okay, so there you go. Basically, that's the uh, filament that just got bunched up. Let's see if I can focus, focus. Focus. 
No, easier, better close up. Got bunched up and you can see the teeth marks from the filament pushers on the sides. So hopefully if I remove this, put it all back together, we'll be able to get our brand new P1S, P1S running again. And I've got another two machines down, so follow for more diagnostic stuff, I guess. See ya.